we wanted to create a, a really inclusive, open, welcoming space. I think um, theatre architecture can sometimes be a real barrier to attendance, and uh, um, certainly amongst young people, I think sometimes that even the facade of theatres can be imposing and intimidating. A lot of traditional theatre spaces um, find accessibility difficult, so we wanted to make sure that um, everything we do with Roundabout is tailored to um, as many people as possible. So we have multiple wheelchair spaces available in Roundabout, and we have as many captioned performances um, available as the venues would like. Also, um, things like allowing guide dogs, allowing um, babes in arms, um, anything that we can do to uh, allow people to come to the theatre that they might um, before have hesitated, we'll try our best to accommodate. The key thing to remember is that making any bit of theatre is about making an idea accessible. I've got this idea in my head, in my head it's accessible to no one apart from me. So I then put it out into the world and I try to make it accessible. I try to make it so that you can come and watch something and you can understand what I think of you or, or whatever it is. So Buckenberg has been going for 25 years. So it came out of the, the city of culture in Glasgow in 1990. When a group of disabled adults got together and decided that they wanted the opportunity to train in theatre and performance. We integrate audio description into the script so that the whole audience gets a flavour of the audio description. We do that in a way that's quite com comedic, so it adds to the production. It's not getting in the way, it's making it funny of the whole audience. Theatre is all about limits, it's all about what you can do within those limits, and that's what makes it exciting. For that, I can do the same thing.